everybody, Trisha Helton, your consultant, jumping on here because I want to show you a really easy and delicious recipe for easy guacamole that you can make right into one of my favorite power tools from Pampered Chef. It is the manual uh, food processor, okay? Um, if you are not familiar with the food processor, the one thing that I like to tell people is that it's like the big brother um, to the food chopper. So our food chopper has been around for a super long time, um, but one thing that this does um, on top of what the food chopper does is that it will actually cut up and dice and mix um, your ingredients at the same time. So you don't have to chop them and then add them and then it just kind of mixes it all up. It's going to cut them and mix them. It's going to cut them and mix them at the very same time. So let's go ahead and get started. There's three pieces to our manual food processor, the lid and the handle, the pump. Um, the blade, okay, we got three really sharp blades in there, and then of course the bowl. Silicone ring on the bottom of it um, to keep it from sliding, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add an onion in here first, and I'm just going to add about oh, a half of a red onion, or a small one, it doesn't matter. If you really like an onion, you add a little bit more, okay? We're just going to put those in there, just like that. Um, the next thing for the recipe is a jalapeno. Now, in our house, we like um, things spicy, um, our salsas and things like that. So I am not going to take the seeds out. But if you like your stuff not quite as spicy as that, um, one thing that you can do is cut your jalapeno in half. Cut your jalapeno in half long ways like this. And then you can use our core and more. It's got this little um, grooves on the end of there. And you can just scoop out all those seeds. Okay, I actually do this when I make jalapeno poppers because I don't want that in there because I'm adding the stuffing. Okay, so um, like I said, I'm going to leave my seeds in there and I'm going to go ahead and just add my jalapenos in there like that. And then I'm going to add some garlic. So I'm going to use our wonderful, wonderful garlic press. Um, if you all love to cook with fresh garlic but you don't, have something in your kitchen that is hassle-free to get the fresh garlic. And if you buy fresh garlic that's minced in the jar, it's still not the same as actually cooking with fresh, fresh garlic, okay? So this is actually a clove. The great big thing that you buy in then is actually called a bulb. So most recipes do not call for a bulb of garlic. They just call for a clove, okay? So with the clove, you just peel it off the bulb and you leave the skins on it. And what you're going to do is you're going to drop it right down into that little spot um, in the garlic press. Then you just kind of close it, and then you're going to push it and press it, and all that wonderful fresh garlic comes right out of the garlic press, okay? Then you can take either a knife, or they've got this handy-dandy little brush tool that's attached to it, and you can scrape out any leftover garlic to get all of it. And then you can use it to pull out those uh, peelings, okay? We got one more we want to do. And I will say that this was my very first favorite Pampered Chef product um, from Pampered Chef when we first got married because it changed the way we cooked. I wanted to cook with fresh garlic more, but like I said, I wanted something hassle free to get my fresh garlic, okay? Um, let's see, then we're going to add about a quarter cup of fresh cilantro um, right into our manual food processor. We're going to process it very briefly. Oh, and to process it, you just lay the lid on top of it. You don't have to screw it. It does lock for storage. You release the handle, and then you just pump. Easy peasy, let me tell you. And we want it finally, finely chopped, okay? If you were making salsa, you might, if you liked your salsa chunkier, you wouldn't process it as long. You could, but you don't have to. But we, these are just kind of add-ins to our uh, guacamole, so we want them pretty fine for this recipe. Okay, so I still, you know, it's not as fine as I want it, so we're going to just process even a little longer. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. I just sort of don't want my blade to trip over on you. See how nice and fine all those ingredients are in there? So next we want to add um, a little bit of lime juice. And I'm going to use a citrus press to juice out um, the juice from my lime. I just cut my lime in half. Not rocket science. 
The citrus press kind of operates the same as your garlic press. Um, the inside of your fruit goes down to the holes right in there, okay? Then you just squeeze and you get all that lovely nice juice um, right from the inside of your fruit from your lime and look how just squished it is, right? If you have a lemon, you can use it for a lemon. Um, catches the seeds, you don't have to worry about that. All right, so I got my lime juice in there. And then the last ingredient, of course, that we're gonna add is two avocados. I did go ahead and cut these up. Um, the tip about avocados, when you're shopping for them, we are at the mercy um, of the grocery store on what um, the avocados look like and feel like. But a, a tip for you is when you are um, feeling your avocado, if you can barely just squish it just a little bit, that's the perfect avocado, okay? Those ones that just are hard as a rock, you know, you won't be able to use those right away. Um, something you can do too, if that's all they have and you need them for a recipe fairly quick, you can bring them home, put them in a brown paper bag, put them in some place nice and dark overnight and they will really help your avocados to be uh, more ripe for you. Okay, so I've got my avocados in there and avocados are just wonderful. I mean, they just are so good for us, you know, and can go with a lot of meals, you know what I'm saying? You can see that there's our lovely, lovely, lovely guacamole in there. Very easy to use. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Of course, if you like a lot of salt, you know, add some more. Something else you can add to this, is you can add a little bit of salsa, just regular salsa or a little bit of a tomato maybe, or some Rotel. Um, I wouldn't add a whole can to this particular um, recipe unless you doubled it, then you probably could get away with a whole can. Okay, so here's my lovely, beautiful guacamole in there. Now, something that's really cool about the manual food processor, too, is I showed you earlier how the blades come out. Okay, so let's say, you know, you're done um, with your meal and you want to have leftover guacamole. I mean, before, you'd have to move this into another container, put a lid on it, throw it in the fridge. Okay, but actually... With ours, we have this wonderful lid that is just for our manual food processor. You can get it separately, and it just pops right on to your uh, bowl, and you can put it right in the fridge just like that. So um, it's also good for that as well. The last thing I want to tell you all about our manual food processor is how to clean it. So the bowl and the blades are dishwasher safe. Okay, so that's fine. Um, the lid or the handle, you just want to wipe it down. Okay, you don't even want to submerge it into your dishwasher, dish water. Um, then just wipe it down and set it off and you are good to go. Okay, so that is your guacamole recipe. Easy peasy, like I said, and delicious. Um, and, our, and made in our manual food processor. So let me know your comments and if you have any questions. Thanks everyone.